Good morning, everyone. Welcome to week six of the St. Mark's Summer Kids Club. It's good to be with you once again. Are you enjoying our new story, Jonah's Adventure? I really hope so. Of course, we're just one weekend, so we have a lot left in the story to cover. We're just really getting to the good parts. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy the next few chapters in this story. Well, last week we learned about Jonah's special job, right? Do you remember what that word was? What was it that Jonah was? A prophet, that's right. Jonah was a prophet. We also heard about the important message that God wanted Jonah to deliver to the people of Nineveh. Now, Nineveh was a big city far, far away from the land where Jonah and the Israelites lived. So it was going to take a long journey to get there. I wonder, do you like going on long trips, visiting faraway places, riding in the car, or maybe on an airplane? I think that we all could use a good long trip away from home sometime very soon, uh, since most of us have been spending a lot of time at home lately. Um, hopefully that can happen for all of us very soon, friends. Well, if Jonah wanted to deliver the message that God had given him for the people of Nineveh, he had better pack his bags and get a start on this journey. It was going to be a long, long walk to Nineveh. But do you know what happened? Jonah didn't pack his bags. He didn't start walking toward Nineveh. The Bible says that Jonah ran away from God. Friends, why did Jonah run away? Why did Jonah run away from God? You know, I'm really not sure. This part of the story really makes me scratch my head. I mean, maybe you guys have some ideas about why Jonah would want to run away from God? Hmm. I mean, maybe Jonah was scared. Maybe he had never been to Nineveh before and he didn't know what to expect. I mean, it can be really scary going to a new place that you've never visited before, especially if you're going all by yourself. Maybe Jonah was just being stubborn. He liked doing things his own way, not God's way. Maybe he just didn't want to listen to God. Maybe Jonah was just in a grumpy mood that day. Or maybe he was confused. Or maybe he had heard bad things about the people of Nineveh and didn't want to go to their city and help them. You know, I guess I'm just thinking about all the reasons that I run away from God or disobey God. Sometimes there's not a great reason. Sometimes my heart just wants to go its own way instead of God's way. I wonder if your heart has ever felt like that. Sometimes we just have a hard time trusting God and doing the things that we know God wants us to do. Well, whatever the reason was, Jonah ran. I mean, he ran away from God. He literally got out his map and looked for the place that was the farthest away from Nineveh that anyone could ever get. And he, he pointed to that place and said, ah, that's, that's where I'll go. Jonah went down to the coast, down to the ocean where the ships came and went, and he got on a boat and gave the captain some money. And he said, take me as far away from Nineveh as you can. And the ship sailed away. And Jonah thought that he had done it. He thought, this is perfect plan. Now I will not have to do what God has asked me to do. 
that does not sound like where the story ends, does it, friends? <laughs> no way. Our story is just getting started, and there's a lot more to tell. But that's where I'm going to leave off for this week, and we'll find out what happens to Jonah next in next week's video. Friends, can we pray together now? Even if we've run away from God or made a wrong choice, God always wants us to talk to him. Let's pray together. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jonah. Help us to always trust you and never run away from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, time to open up the pack labeled week six and get started on today's activity. I really hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you all again next week for the next part of our story. Goodbye, friends.